Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand how to solve these kind of questions where they have given us 7 raised to x is equals to 700. Now students please understand if this question was asked in any of the entrances where they had given us options okay then I would tell you all that in that case your entire question changes very very easily. See what happens is see we say have 7 raised to 1 is equals to what 7. 7 raised to 2 gets you what 49. Now, 7 raised to 3 equals to 343. Okay. So, now obviously 7 raised to 4 will be somewhere around 2000 values. Okay. So, here we know that the value of x has to be, has to be greater. Okay. It is greater than uh, 3 and lesser than 4. It has to lie between that. So, in case you are, they had given you options such as, you know, like, let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, then in that case you could have taken directly, sorry, 2 point some values and 3 point some values and 4 point some values and 5 point some values. Then in that case, you could have taken the option B directly, okay? Now normally what happens is, see, these kind of questions are also asked in proper exams, okay? There in that case what happens is, see, you are getting marks for every single step given, okay? So now let's understand how do you solve these kind of questions when it is supposed to be like, you know, every single step is being counted as a mark, okay? Now please understand, whenever you have something like this, you know, you know for sure that you can't do anything because over here the variable is a part of your index. In such a scenario, what we will have to do, we will have to take use of log, okay? So what happens is, see, we'll take log of 7 raised to x, okay, is equal to. Now, in your RHS, what you should be doing, see, no matter what uh, number is given, okay, if this number is divisible by 7 or it is, it can be written in terms of 7, you might as well do that, okay. So what we'll do, log, and then in bracket, we'll do 7 into 100, Okay, because this is very important for you all to know because eventually you will see that this will simplify your calculations to a greater extent. See, then now what happens is we'll start applying the law of logs. Okay, that is what now when you have a log of a raised to m, what happens is the index goes ahead. So you will have m into log of a. Okay, so similarly here also I can say x into log of 7 equals to now here see when you have a log as a product so there is another rule of log which is nothing but what when you have log of a into b it can be written as log a plus log b so similarly here also 7 into 100 can be written as log of 7 plus log of 100 Okay, now very, very important thing to know. See, in indices also, whenever you write just single number A, it is considered that the index is 1. Okay, so whenever you just have a single number, let's say the number is 2, means the index is 1. Okay, if there was another index, then the index has to be mentioned. Okay, similarly, in log also, whenever I don't write a base, it is considered that the base is basically 10 in each of these cases. Okay. Now, what happens is, see, there is another rule of log which says that whenever you have log of any number to the same base, the answer becomes 1. So, here also what I can do is, see, I'll write everything as it is as of now. Okay, log of 7 to the base 10 equals to log of 7 to the base 10 plus this 10, 100 can be written as what? Log of 10 square to the base 10. Okay. See, here for your understanding, I'm putting the base. In fact, actually, if you don't put the base, that is also absolutely fine. Okay. So, now we'll use the same logic. In this step, the index will then come ahead. Okay. So, we will have x log 7 to the base 10 equals to log 7 to the base 10 plus you will put the 2 outside and then you have log 10 to the base 10 
Now, as you all know that this particular value, this value now becomes what? Just 1. Okay. So, let's write this again. We have log 7 to the base 10 equals to log 7 to the base 10 plus 2 into 1. Okay. Now, what happens in this case is now in order to find the value of x, see always in mathematics whenever you want to find the value of a variable, we do what? We try to shift all the numbers on one side of the equal to. So, what we will do? We will divide both sides by log of 7 to the base 10 upon log of, sorry, my bad, log of 7 to the base 10. So now what happens in this case is see things are cancelling here and in your LHS you are just left with the value of x and in your RHS what happens is you are left with log of 7. Now I am not writing to the base 10 because it is obviously understood okay plus 2 upon log 7 okay so here what happens is 1 plus 2 upon log 7 is one answer. Okay, that can be one answer if you do not, if they have not given you any log books, then you can leave your answer at this point or if they have given you the answer or log book, then you can actually find out the value of log 7, which is nothing but what 2 upon 0 0.8451. Okay, so this becomes x plus, sorry, x equals to uh, 1 plus 2 upon 0 0.8457 that gets you what 3 point sorry not 3 point it is actually 2.366 okay so final answer final answer for value of x we can say that actual value of x is nothing but what 3.3666 okay this is the actual value of x okay so now, like I said, that if they had given you options, then also your answer is C. You can see that it is lying between C and 4. Okay. And if they had not given you options and they had neither given you a log book, then this answer would have worked absolutely fine for all or for your entire sum. Okay. So I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. Now I want you all to figure out what will be value of log of 7. No, I'll not put 7. Let's change. I will do log of 2 raised to x equals to log of 40. Okay. Please tell me what answer will be happening for this particular question. Do like, share and subscribe for many such videos.